apartment and it was just you and myself. Awesome. <laughs> Does that sound weird when guys come Not up to at you? All. What, what else would you say? Right? This is what I'm talking about. Nothing That's sounds why. weird to me. Okay, I, so. I've had guys want to be my Ottoman. I've got guys that have me tattooed on them. I've been to 80 countries. Nothing's weird to me. Bring oh, it. man, by the way. You're boring me. Bring it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I watched right? them to masturbate with a donkey that was on lit on fire. Yeah, they do that too. Yeah. The, the donkey was on fire and was coked up on um, meth. And <laughs> am, I, am I not getting? It? <laughs> well, welcome to Hawaii. I know it's not your first time on the island, but it's your first time dancing here. It is at yeah. Club Nine Three Nine. It's actually my first time performing in Hawaii. Really? At all. Yeah, I, I've actually, my favorite island, well they're all my favorite, but um, I've spent a lot of time in Hawaii. Oh really? Um, I would go there for vacation, uh -huh. so the first time I actually ever went to Hawaii, I went to Kauai in 2003. Were you surprised to see all the white people? No, I didn't see a lot of white people. Really? Actually. Yeah, I, I ran into a lot of locals, but I mean I had friends that had already lived in Kauai, so I stayed with them. Oh, okay. Um, I wasn't a stranger, no. But I got dialed in. I even got like a Maui club card when I was on Maui. So oh, really? I like the secret discount. Because I kept hearing Maui club card and I said, no, you gotta let me in. I don't like not having a Maui club card. So, but yeah, no, I, I do. I don't even Hawaii. have that. Yes! I was raised here. I don't even have that. But yeah, no, I love Hawaii. This is actually my first time performing here. So I'm, I'm excited to be here. Wait, I love the way you plug the... Um... The, cu the club too. You're very professional. I listened to you this morning on the morning radio, and you're very professional. It's like you're having fun, but you're you're business wise. You're always sharp. Thank you. Um, so you carry sharp knives always. Do you? Uh, you have to to stay on top. Right? Not in Hawaii. Not in Hawaii. We're talking business. Oh right. right. Okay. Because, you know you don't always get what you deserve in business. Oh. Get what you negotiate. When you talk you to someone knives. about knives, then we start thinking of fire knife dancing. And <laughs> you were talking about a donkey fight. <laughs> Which was on fire and I was fire, fire knife dancing. dancing. There you go. Yeah, no, I started, it all comes um, together. I started in the industry in 1999. I retired in 2007. But uh, I have you know, a huge catalog of movies that I continue to license. Mm -hmm. I, I work with an MMA clothing company. Headrush and do some designing for them. Yeah, I just shot the Hello Kitty documentary for San Rio. And really? my life, I mean, since retiring, I still travel. I still, the one thing I still do love doing that's adult oriented is I love educating. I love traveling and educating. I meet a lot of couples, I meet a lot of women, I meet a lot of people that want to talk about sexuality. You know, talk about relationships and things like that. But I also uh, I enjoy performing. I enjoy getting you know kind of semi naked and and dancing and performing. I feel like there's nothing better than being in front of a live audience. The validation of, of seeing my fans. See, I mean, that's why I like stand up comedy because I'm a stand up comedian. I I, I love that energy with my jokes sure. and the energy that comes back with the appreciation and. I don't get the same looks that you do. <laughs> you, you have groupies, I'm sure, right? Well, you got one. <laughs> you got at least one. one on the yeah. island? I probably don't, like, it's not really something to brag about. But. You have the hardest job, I will say. I joined uh, The Naughty Show, which is a traveling comedy troupe of comedians. And they call it The Naughty Show because I kind of, I do burlesque in the show. But I... Working with stand-up comedians, like comedians, I will say the last two years, it's it's very tough. Mm -hmm. You, it's it, we have a very similar job, and I say we because I wrote my first memoir. My first book was published three years ago, and I have copies of it here tonight uh, at Club Nine Three Nine for sale. It's called Center Takes All. Mm -hmm. Margaret Cho wrote the foreword to my book, and we talk about how you walk into a room and you could be crushing it. You right. could be just crushing it and people are sitting there looking at you like you are a donkey on fire. Like, yeah, you know, you yeah. could just be great and then you could walk into a room and have an off night and people are loving you. It's kind of the same yeah. in my industry, but I get naked so everyone's happy regardless. So, so it, you, it's a bit easier, but... You win again, naked lady. <laughs> no, the comedy is, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's very tough. Yeah. So I have a lot of respect and I, I really enjoy doing the podcast. It's like... Doing stand-up comedy is like getting naked in front of a crowd, but having really horrible genitals. You're naked on the inside. You're, yes. you're naked on the inside. I've always said comedy, it comes from pain. I think some of it does come from pain. You know, some comedians, they talk about very well-known comedians. You know, I mean, I'm old school, James Belushi, oh, yeah. uh, you know, 
drugs. I mean, they, they talk about a lot of pain. Even Margaret Cho, what I love about her is, you know, she jokes about her crazy Korean parents. I have crazy Asian parents. So, you know, it's it's something we can relate to. I find with comedians, it's, there's definitely something. We had, we had Stanhope on a couple episodes ago, Doug Stanhope, and he's always drinking. So we all have our thing. Um, one thing I wanted to do with you is play uh, a game that we have we do like a uh, countdown, like how Leno, I mean, excuse me, Letterman has his countdown. <laughs> oh, this is called Jimmy's Top Ten. Jimmy's Top Ten. Top Ten. Whoa. Where's the snazzy music that goes on? Well, that was a snazzy. That was a snazzy. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy's Top Ten. We have a screeching guy. So, J Jimmy's Top Ten this time is? Uh, top Ten movie, uh, famous movie one-liners that we'd like to hear Tara Patrick read. Oh, you want, so you have them written down? Or yes. You want me to, oh, okay. And then we're going to start with uh, number eight. Yeah, but there's ten. Yes. Number eight. What happens to nine and ten? The, the name of it's it is the name of it is top ten. Oh, I see. There's only eight of them. Yeah. So number eight. And if you could read them like sexy, like. Yeah, uh, I know some of these. Movies. Yeah. Yes. So. Number eight. The oil penis is clean. Oh, nice, mm -hmm. nice. I like that. And I, I might replay that. Part of the episode over and over. Okay, number number seven. This one's interesting. I think something's wrong with his medulla oblongata. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the movie? I don't know the movie. I know that part of the brain, but I don't know. Uh, Waterboy from uh, uh, Adam Sandler. Oh, I didn't see that one. Although I like Happy Gilmore, and my favorite is a piece of shit like you for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Pieces of shit for breakfast. See, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put that, or we're just gonna put the other one where get in your hole, yeah. go home. He's yelling at the ball. Love that movie. That's my favorite. So I haven't seen Waterboy, so now I have to watch Waterboy. You do. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> see, I can see that in a movie that you're doing, even though that's. <laughs> I guess come field of dreams or field of come dream? dreams. <laughs> Hey, we have a winner. We have a bell. Ding, ding, this ding, is our, our porn uh, expert over here. This is Chad Wago. <laughs> so. We're off to number five. He slimed me. Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, see, she got it. Yeah, that's a slimer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Number four. Come with me if you want to live. I like that she's, I like she the way she did it. Yeah. She's yeah. it. I like. Oh, so I forgot um, what number we're. See, I told you that she's our generation. I'm yeah. I'm older, so. We're at number, yeah, I'm 38. <laughs> Are we at number four? We're, yeah. We're at number three. We're at number three. Say hello to my little friend. Mm -hmm. See, that might not be good in a, in a porn <laughs> It might be. Well, he has a he has a gun, doesn't he? I, I see in the bathtub when he says that. Well, he's coming out to, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah. So he's coming out with a big gun, yeah. but it's a little, okay. <laughs> I was taking it literally. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just have a guy with a big, yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah. Number two. I'm looking for the G-fingered man. Oh, I'm sorry. Six. Oh, six-fingered well, man. Let's try that again. Let's try Number that Number two. I'm looking for the six-fingered man. That's no, for... Right. Right. <laughs> Maybe not for you, but for us guys watching. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. That's actually from Princess Bride. Oh, I didn't see that either. You gotta see. Now you gotta see okay. it. Okay. Okay, so there's two. Number and then, one. Ding, ding, ding. Dong. Where is my automobile? Yeah! <laughs> that's actually like classic 80s Valley Girl, 16 Candles, Commando, yeah. All I, I, had a, I had a crush on uh, Molly Ringwald back oh, then. Yeah. Molly Ringwald was pretty hot. I, I don't know, maybe Redheads does something to me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Breakfast Club, yeah. Oh, we'd like to thank you. I know we, you know, you, you gotta get on stage. We are gonna be downstairs and watch it. I know, I'm, uh, I'm looking, kind of. <laughs> kind of looking too, I'm like, um, could we take pictures with you real quick? Sure, yeah, okay. thank you for having me. Thank and, you for uh, being on our show. Yeah, thank you, and um, like I said, my first memoir, uh, Center Takes All, is, is published and it's out. My website's terrapatrick.com if you don't want to look at Playboy TV anymore. And uh, I just want to thank, you know, of course, Hawaii for for bringing me out and for my three nine. It's been nine years since I've last been here. Wow. So. I think the stage is, you know, needs to see my boobs. Yes, so. I don't watch Playboy anymore. This was back oh. in the days. <laughs> I went on back your, in Nam. I went on your site and I added my age and everything. Oh, okay. And I might not be on other sites anymore. Any yeah. any more internet sites anymore. TaraPatrick.com is the way to go. 
All right. Very good. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.